We got some breaking Nebraska football news today. It was announced a couple minutes ago that Ethan Nation, potential starting cornerback for the Huskers, is no longer with the team. So in today's video, I'm going to give you my instant reaction to this news and why I think this is a terrible thing for Nebraska. But really quick, hit that like button if you want to stay up to date with breaking news related to the Huskers. And hey, hit that subscribe button as well. I'm posting every single day this summer on the road to 4,000 subs talking Nebraska football, Nebraska recruiting, Nebraska rumors, an instant reaction just like this. So if you want to stay up to date with the Huskers, hit that subscribe button and help me out. But without further ado, let's get into it. Talking about Ethan Nation no longer with Nebraska. And yeah, this is some shocking news just released a couple of minutes ago. And yeah, I mean, really just came out of nowhere. The Nebraska football team has been getting back to Lincoln over the last week to begin reporting for summer workouts. Ethan Nation was not a part of that group. And as of right now, if you look at Huskers.com, Ethan Nation is no longer with, listed with the team. Now, we don't know if this is indefinitely. We don't know if this is just a warning for Ethan Nation if he's going to appear later. My guess would be it's over. Like, Ethan Nation is literally no longer with the team. He will not be a Nebraska Cornhusker this season. And this is a bad thing for the Huskers. There's a lot of people on social media saying, oh, we have a stacked secondary already. No, we don't really need Ethan Nation. First off, we do not have a stacked secondary. Our cornerback room is probably the worst unit on our football team, period. It is very inexperienced. We have about one guy who I feel confident in, that's Tommy Hill. And so much so that Ethan Nation was going to probably start for us this year as our second cornerback. He's that talented, which brings me to my second point. Ethan Nation was a four-star recruit, okay? He had 50 offers coming out of high school. When he was here last year in his true freshman campaign, he did not know the entire playbook. He was not an early enrollee, but he was so talented where Matt Rule just had to get him on the field. So he played special teams. He played, you know, returning kicks, returning punts. He put him on defense whenever possible because he's so naturally gifted. And that's why Ethan Nation, time and time again, I've been talking about him as being a potential breakout player, a potential, you know, top 20, top 30 cornerback in the conference, let alone the country, because he's that good. He's the most talented Nebraska cornerback we've seen in a very long time. He's listed at 5'10", a little bit undersized, but he runs a 4'3". He's a legit press man cover guy um, who can lock up your favorite wide receiver you know, anywhere in the country. I'm very high in Ethan Nation. That's why this news is so is terrible because our cornerbacks are not good for Nebraska. And it's a thin room already. It's just getting thinner now if this holds. Again, there's still a lot of uncertainty. This is breaking news. It literally just dropped over the last hour. It could be, okay, Ethan, Ethan Nation did not report this week. He reports next week. Okay, still with the program. We're not sure. It could be that Ethan Nation did not report. Matt Rule already gave him a couple warnings and it's over. And he's looking to go to a different program. And I'm going to probably think it's the second one because that's the way that Matt Rule operates, um, operates Nebraska. So, Again, I'm, I'm a little fired up, but I think there's a lot of misconceptions right now on social media. People saying, oh, this is not a big loss. They don't understand how good Ethan Nation is. Ethan Nation probably would have started for us this year. And not just that, but he would have been a really good start. We just lost a talented player. Um, and I don't know why, right? Like, I don't know where my anger is going because it's definitely not in Nebraska, right? It's definitely not a Matt Rule, but I, I don't know why Ethan Nation would not... Uh, if he doesn't want to be a Nebraska Cornhusker anymore, if you look at his social media pages, he's still repping Nebraska. Again, he was a standout in the spring literally a month ago. So I don't know what changed from May to June. Um, there's a lot of confusion around here. I'm going to keep you updated about everything. But yeah, as of right now, Ethan Nation no longer with Nebraska's football team, one of the most talented players on the whole squad looking to have a breakout sophomore campaign. Um, just just really bad news. And there's a couple other walk-ons who are no longer with the program. Again, nothing really. Um, that's not a big deal here. I'm not even going to mention their name. But Ethan Nation was the big one who did, who is no longer with Nebraska as of right now. Um, and again, a secondary that was already bad that was already had little experience, it gets worse. And now you're hoping on guys who are injured like Bly Hill to step up. You're hoping on guys who never produced before um, like Jeremiah Charles and Larry Tarver to step up. It, it's, it's rough. So, all right, that's the video, guys. Let me know down in the comment section, what is your instant reaction to this news along with Ethan Nation um, departing from Nebraska football? We wish him well. Hopefully he comes back. Again, there's still a lot of uncertainty. Just wanted to get this video out there. So, And hey, if you made this far in the video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. And as always, folks, go Big Red, go Matt Rule, and see you in the next one.